Recently, I got these four touchscreens from the DWIN Technologies specialized in making high quality and cost effective HMI touchscreens. This one is the Android touchscreen. This one can be used with PLCs. This one is the temperature controller and this one is my most favorite one and can be easily used with 5-fold compatible controller boards like Arduino Uno, Arduino Nano, Arduino Mega, big microcontrollers, 8051 family of microcontrollers etc. So in this episode I'm going to start with this touchscreen. Without any further delay, let's get started. This is the DMG80 480C043-02 WTC cost effective touchscreen and is based on the T5L DGUS development system. DGUS stands for DWIN Graphic Utilized Software. Using the DGUS software tool, amazing GOIs can be designed without even writing a single line of code. I will talk about this in detail while explaining the GUI. The DWIN Smart LCMs follow a naming rule. The first two characters DM represents the product line code. The third character represents the color code. For this touchscreen G means 16.7M color. The next five digits represents the touchscreen resolution. For this touchscreen 80480 means this is 800 by 480. The next character represents the classification. For this touchscreen, C means commerce grade. The next three digits represents the size of the DWIN Smart LCMs. For this touchscreen, 043 means it's a 4.3 inch touchscreen. This is the separator. This one digit or character represents the attribute code for this smart LCM0 means the basic type. This one digit represents the ROM ID and it can be any digit from 0 to 9 to distinguish between different hardware versions. This one character represents the LCD temperature grade for this LCD W means wide temperature. The final one or two characters represents the TP category. For this touchscreen, TC means capacitive touch panel. So we can say the DMG80480C043-02 WTC is a 4.3 inch 800 by 480 resolution commerce grade basic T5L smart LCM with capacitive touch panel. This is a slot for the micro SD card used to download the project files. This one is the buzzer. Six pins interface allows you to connect this smart touchscreen with five fold controller boards using the TX and RX and five fold power supplies. The minimum voltage is 4.5 volt and the maximum voltage is 5.5 volt. I highly recommend use regulated five volts power supply with the bake light is on, it draws around 230 milliamps and when the bake light is off, it draws around 80 milliamps. Recommended power supply is per the manufacturer is 5 volt and 1 ampere. This smart touchscreen is also provided with an 8GB micro SD card and a micro SD adapter. This micro SD card is used to download the project files. The SD card must be formatted using FAT32 otherwise you may get some errors while transferring the project files. This smart LCD touchscreen has the FCC-10-1.0 terminal block which is used to connect this touchscreen with the computer or laptop using the hdl 6 b adapter board. FCC-1015A cable and the HDL USB cable. So let's go ahead and connect these. Mm -hmm. 
Before you connect the touch screen, you will need to install a driver for the HDL662 b adopter board if you want to upload the project files without using the SD card and you will also need this driver for establishing serial communication with third party softwares if in case you want to send commands to the touch screen. I have already installed this driver. After you are done with the driver installation, connect your touch screen with the laptop. As you can see, it's just a simple image. Next, you can open the Degas software tool v7.618. By default, the Chinese language is selected. Change this to English. Next, you can click on the new. Select the screen resolution as per your touch screen. I will select 480 by 800. Finally, select the folder where you want to save your project files. And then click on the OK button. Now you can start by adding your own designed images. You can use the JPG and PMP type images with the name starting from 00 and so on. For the GUI designing, you can use Adobe Photoshop. I added some text which I'm going to use as the buttons to switch between different images. You have different modules ready to be used. For the practice, you can start with a basic touch module which is used to switch between different images. Simply draw a box around the text or any other area in the image or the whole image which you want to use as the button and then select the image you want to switch to. It's that simple. Finally, save your project. Click on the Generate button. And then go to the Display menu and click on the Preview from first page. Instead of uploading this project, I'm going to upload a project which I got from the DWIN Technologies. They used a total of 100 images and used many modules which you can study and this way you can find out how they did it. Simply save the project. Click on the generate button. While your touch screen is connected with the laptop, go to the settings menu and then click on the diggers. You should be able to see the serial port and the baud rate. Check all the three boxes. And finally, click on the start downloading button and wait for a few seconds.
the touch screen will automatically restart. As you can see the project is successfully downloaded. Another way to download the project files is to use the SD card. Copy and paste the project folder. Turn off the LCD and insert the micro SD card. Turn on the touch screen and wait until you see the end which means that the project is downloaded successfully. Again turn off the LCD and remove the SD card. You don't need it anymore as the project has been downloaded. Again turn on your smart touch screen and you are good to go. Very soon I will use this smart capacitive touch screen with the Arduino board to display the sensors data and control different types of electrical loads. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.